Hi guys! So today I'm actually going to be doing a smoky eye and um, I'm going to be listing the products down below if you guys have any questions at the end of the video. Um, remember, make sure to like and subscribe as well. Um, so yeah, if you guys are interested in watching this video and how I got this look, stay tuned and I will see you at the end of the video. So I know I've mentioned my Melt Cosmetic um, rust stack in the, my previous videos, I think, but um, that's actually what I'm going to be using to be doing my smoky eye today. Um, I'm actually going to be using the color Rubbish, um, just like in the crease. And then once again, I'm going to be taking my Morphe uh, blending brush in the number G20. I think that is or 22 or 20 I don't know the last number just like rubbed off that's how much I use it so I'm just going to be putting it on the crease and this is what this color looks like it's like a mustard yellow brown color So once we go in with our crease color, I'm going to go ahead and put on the transition color, which is also from the rust stack. It's the actual color rust. Um, and it looks like this. And I'm going to be using my Morphe M441 blending brush. Um, this one here. So after we put in our transition color and our crease color, I'm going to go ahead and use the Morphe 35B palette again just because that one has a really solid pigmented black in it. Um, so it looks like this, this one here. So I'm going to take my flat brush from Morphe again. Um, I, like All my brushes are Morphe because one, they're very, very like... I wouldn't call them cheap. I would say not expensive. They're really, really good. Um, and the quality of them are really, really good. They have different types of brushes from like really like um, affordable ones to really like still affordable but kind of like high-end material type of thing. So um, that's why I like them. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use that brush and I'm going to go ahead and put this black on my lid. So next I'm going to go ahead and put on my foundation and then just blend it with my beauty blender.
And I'm going to use my flat brush and the number M432. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the color Rust that I used on the crease of my eye. I'm going to use it on the bottom, um, close to my waterline. So then I'm going to use the black color that I use on my lid on the bottom underneath as well. Again, I say the same thing with the same uh, flat brush. Then I'm going to take my Morphe brush in the um, number G27. Um, it's just like this. It's a little like pointy fluffy brush. And I'm going to go ahead and just blend the, bo the bottom underneath. Then I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Half Baked Eyeshadow, and it looks like this. And I'm going to use my pinky just for the inner corner of the eye. So next I'm going to be using the NYX um, Satin Finish Black Liner. Like so I'm using the Makeup Forever Full Coverage Concealer and it's a few levels lighter than the actual foundation because um, I do like a bright eye especially if it's going to be a smoky eye then I want it to be you know a really nice bright eye underneath so that the smoky eye can pop out too. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. to contour I'm actually going to use the MAC Pro Long Concealer just because it's a little less thicker and it's better for me to work with um, so I'm going to use that on my t-zone and right here on the chin and yeah let's go ahead and do that So next up, I'm going to be using um, a bronzer to contour, and it's honestly like I've tried different bronzers, and this one still like stays by my side because it's so good. It's the Too Faced bronzer. I'm 
always using this one like always 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 i have other ones too that i've tried and that i like as well but like i feel like none of them compare to the Too Faced bronzer the chocolate Soleil. like it's so good it smells yummy and it's so good so i'm gonna go ahead and use that to contour and um i'm going to be using my uh mac blush brush i think it's in the number 168 I believe. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and put on a little bit of blush, just a very little insy bit. Um, I don't want it too much that it overlooks my shadow. I kind of want my shadow to pop out more. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little bit on the apples on my cheeks. And I'm going to be using the same um, contouring brush to use it to put on the blush. And I'm going to be using Torrid from NARS. So next I will be putting on the eyelashes. Um, I'm going to be using the number 28s again from Miss Adoro um, just because I want like a dramatic look um, and I want my eyelashes to stick out as well so I'm going to go ahead and use that one for those. <laughs> So um, earlier, I actually couldn't really um, say what I was going to be putting on my lips because um, my parents actually came to visit the baby. So um, I was just kind of like showing you guys what I used. Um, so basically, I'm just going to talk about the lip products that I used. I used three different things to, to put on my lips. So the first one that I used was uh, the Youngblood Plum. Blum? No, it was actually the Young Blood Pout that I used. Um, I think I grabbed the wrong one right now, but I actually, it looks like this. And it has the shade on top. Um, so basically, the pout is a little bit more on the nude side. Um, I really like using that on its own or, you know, as a lip liner. 
Um, so I went ahead and did that one first. I put that one first. I put it all around my lips, not just as a liner. Um, and then afterwards, I actually um, went ahead and put the NYX um, Soft Matte Lip Cream color in the color Canis, I think it's called. Or Cans? Canis? I don't know. Um, but it's a little pinky color like this. And so basically, I just went ahead and put this color in the middle of my lips, not really smeared all around. I kind of just blended it into the middle of the lips, uh, right on top of the um, pout lip liner. And then afterwards, um, the very to top it off, I kind of wanted a little shine in it as well. I didn't want it to be like a really matte color either. So I went ahead and I used the color, um, I used the brand Too Faced. Um, lipstick in the color nude beach so I don't know if you can see it but it's like this it's really pretty but it's not matte I'm usually used to using matte colors but this one's actually not matte but it has a really pretty like pinky nude tone to it and it has like a little shine on it as well so it's it's really nice I mean it's it's a very subtle pink but I feel like Usually I use a lot of nudes, so I don't know, I just, I was kind of contemplating if I should wear like a smoky eye with a little pinky nude or I should wear a smoky eye with a basic nude because usually when I do go out somewhere and I do wear a smoky eye, I just put on a nude color. I don't really like a lot of color on my lips when I already have color on my eyes, like a bunch of color, like a dark color. So with that being said, so that finishes up the video guys. Um, I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up and then subscribe if you guys have any questions or any um, thing to basically say. Um, just go ahead and leave it in the bottom on uh, the comments and I hopefully I can get back to you um, sooner rather than later. Um, so yeah, that's the end of the video and thank you for, for watching and I hope to see you soon. Thank you. Bye. One last thing, if you guys want to go ahead and follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is Sandra7M. Seven, Sandra seven and um, yeah, I'm, I believe it is on private. So go ahead and re uh, request to follow me and I will gladly accept. If you don't look like a freaking serial killer, then yes, I will go ahead and accept you. Um, so you can follow all the makeup pictures that I put up, which is not that much, but I do put on there when I release a video um, that way you don't have to wait until the email to see whether I made a video or not so yeah okay so thanks for watching